Hello, I'm Misha and I welcome you all to my channel Destination Scotland. Here we discuss about a lot of things like university admission, UK study visa, dependent visa, accommodations, shopping. Please like and subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you know whenever the new video is out. And today, as promised in my last video, I'm going to talk about accommodations part 2. Okay, so in my last video, we talk about the accommodation or living places that you will need right when you land. Uh, you can see the link below and there are details what all options you have. But once you're here, uh, how do you find your accommodation is what we are going to discuss today. First, let's talk about student only accommodation. So if you're coming as a student, you want accommodation for yourself. What are the options? Your first and a very simple option is university accommodation. What are the benefits? Uh, you stay in the vicinity of university. You don't have to do anything. Everything is planned and in place for you before you come. And you get to make a lot of friends because you have a good night life. You have people uh, living inside that. A lot of students living inside that accommodation. Uh, so those are some benefits of going for a university accommodation but yes you have to book it on time uh, so that they are available so if you're not going for university accommodation you can go for private student accommodations how to look for private student accommodations i'll give you the link below there are a lot of accommodations available i spoke a bit about them in our last video as well uh, where we were talking about where to stay just when you land so uh, there are options for student accommodations also. Again, there are two type of student accommodations. One where you get all bills inclusive, like your uh, uh, if you have a TV, TV license, your energy bills like gas and electricity, uh, they're all included in your rent. So you don't have to pay anything extra. The per month, per month rent is inclusive of all these things. The other option is the rent is what you have to pay to the owner or the letting agent and whatever additional charges are there like for your uh, electricity bills um, uh, your tv license your internet all that you have to pay on your own those are additional apart from your rent council tax is something which as a student if you're living in an independent flat as well that is exempted what is council tax council council is kind of a local government and there are some taxes that they take from you for the maintenance of the city like like uh, uh, the garbage picking and uh, other things and uh, uh, also for water and the sewerage etc but as a student you are not liable to pay that council tax so if you are living alone uh, as a student in a studio apartment uh, then you're exempted if you're living with other students that's also another example uh, another option that you stay with other students in an independent uh, flat so in that case also since all the students are living in that flat you are exempted of council tax and this brings to brings us to another option like i was saying that you can take a private accommodation with other students so they need not be um, from your own country. Uh, there are students, they keep uh, putting up the requirements in uh, university Facebook page or uh, even DUSA keeps. So DUSA is student union. Even they keep putting up requirements where uh, one room is available or uh, someone is looking for two roommates. So you can also put in your requirement there or you can choose out of the requirement and approach someone for your uh, uh, like you're available available and you want to shift in with them so that's the, these are the options as a student if you're going for independent uh, accommodation do remember to take a list of agent from dusa student union uh, do remember to take a list of agent there are some agents who are like university certified 
Uh, what is the benefit of going with those agents? Letting agents is uh, that you don't you have to do a bare minimum documentation with them, and uh, it's done. Otherwise, uh, uh, there's there are a lot of things that you have to go through. You have to fill up a lot of forms, give a lot of documents to these agents, uh, and I'll talk about the guarantors and uh, security thing when I talk about living with family just in some time uh, so yes uh, if you want i can also share that list with you comment write it in the comment box i will send the list uh, so there's a list of agents that are on that, that are uh, actually university also have done a tie-up with so when you go through these agents uh, the benefit is bare minimum documentation and bare minimum security so keep them as your first choice so to sum it up for individual student, you have university accommodation, you have private student accommodations, you have option of living in a studio apartment or you can take an independent flat with other students. So these are options that are available. Again, I am giving as many links as I can in the description box so that you can go through it, uh, see which one is viable for you and uh, book in time now let's come to the option where you're coming in with family um, you don't have private student accommodation for that one you cannot go for university so your option is individual flat or houses uh, that are available what do you do for that again these agents which are on university list they are also one of your options. You can contact them. A lot of them do provide family accommodation as well. Uh, the other option is to go on the rental websites. Uh, the most popular one here is Zoopla in Dundee specifically. Uh, there are a lot of options on Zoopla uh, and there is a right move as well. But I, I would say Zoopla has got more options than right move at present. Um, I'll give you the link of Zoopla also in the description box. So if you want to go and check for yourself, you can. You should also liaison with the letting agents before you land in here. Uh, it is very important. Don't wait to come here and start the licensing uh, because it's going to take a lot of time. It's, it's a big process. So start doing it from your home country itself. So how does it go? What are the steps? First of all, you log on to the website. Uh, like Zoopla or, and there are some uh, websites of local letting agents as well. I'm going to give them in the description box for you. There are many more, but I'll give you some of them. Um, what you do, you go log on to the website, you find a suitable house for yourself. Then the next step is to show interest or book your viewing. Book your viewing means that uh, you will get a slot, a time from letting agent when he will be there at the property to show you and you have to go there in that time and look at the property so that's called a viewing time yes uh, so you have to book your viewing time in advance um, some of the cases you will get it on the website itself the option to choose the slot in other cases you have to write into the letting agent they get back to you with the available time slots uh, once you've booked your book viewing go look at the property and then you have to show your interest you cannot in most of the cases show your interest without looking at the property there are some agents who have started the virtual viewing uh, if you get that well enough but otherwise you'll have to go look at the property and then show your interest once you've shown your interest through filling in a form wait you'll have to wait for another uh, week or so and then the results are out they let you know whether you were your application was successful or not so don't stop at one don't think that I've filled in one application, let's wait for the result. Keep applying, keep applying for as many houses as you like uh, so that you get a good one in your hand as soon as possible. Again, like I said, if it is a 
agent from a uh, university list most of the times they help you out with the minimum uh, documentations but if it is a uh, uh, agent uh, who's not on the list or who's who wants a lot of documentation then in that case uh, you will have to show a guarantor uh, somebody who's been living in UK for some time and can take a guarantee that you can pay your rent. If you're unable to provide a guarantor, they may ask you for the security amount for about two months to six months. Anything between two months to six months, you'll have to pay that if you do not have a guarantor. Again, this depends on agent to agent. Um, like being a student and sometimes when agent is in list of the university you are spared of this thing but uh, as a family sometimes you have to pay i personally had to give in guarantor uh, for my house um okay so that's 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 about the guarantor and finally once it's yes and you're able to do in all your uh, documentation you can shift into your house this process may take up to 15 days um, and uh, can go up till one month as well I personally uh, had to wait for 20 days for the entire process I will tell you a few agents again I'm giving the link in the description box um, rent locally um, Jamal properties and AKG properties are some agents which are uh, which need minimum documentation and sometimes they won't even wait for uh, this result thing they, you don't have to fill in the application and wait for a week uh, they take very quick decisions uh, so um, and do consider if they have a property that is of your uh, interest do consider going through them um, and I'll give all the links available again in the description box happy searching let me know if I was not able to answer anything or is there any other query that you have regarding the accommodation and um, I'll get back to you with that thank you very much see you